Yep. You read that title correctly. So the NYPD puts out basically a mandate that they do follow certain rappers regarding certain situations in order to be able to help the community and to make sure that there's no violence or drug sales. And I'm saying maybe they doing something different. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so... Yeah. So apparently, the NYPD has decided to come clean about their hip-hop police thing. Yep, the NYPD has decided to come clean about their rap unit. And just so we can give a little quick update for people of what the rap unit is, basically, that's how they monitor rappers. They monitor them. For everybody that don't know, they try to say, okay, so initially they try to say they try to monitor rappers that's involved in gangs or whatever the whatever the case is, but we all know that's not necessarily the truth. Okay, real quick before I start uh, reading this article, um, remember a while back, 6 9 had came back into town, and when he came back into town, he was driving and he got pulled over by the FBI or whoever pulled him over. And 6ix9ine said, see, this is how it always is when I come to New York. Every time I'm in New York, they're on me all the time. Do y'all remember that? I think he was sitting like in the back seat. He was going live or whatever the case was. Yeah. So that's those guys. That's just the goal to show you that you don't even need to be doing anything because I'm about to read something. And the thing that I'm about to read is going to make it sound like they're only following these guys when they're at clubs or when they're at bars or when they're at at recording studios even or even though they shouldn't be you know following them there or even when they're you know somewhere where it's a possibility that whatever gang ties that they might have or drugs might be around or whatever the case is and that's when they monitor them and i'm saying as far as i know they're just monitoring them period anyway the article goes first shout out the hype beast uh sophia karen Karen? Karan? C-A-R-A-A-N. Shout out to her. Anyway, it goes. It has been, it's been revealed by the NY, by the New York City Police Department created the rap unit. On the grounds, operation, what in the hell? You yeah, got a part of me. Am I missing words? Hold on, let me start back over. It's been revealed that the New York City Police Department created the rap unit on the ground operations conducted by the department's enterprise operations unit. Nope, I read that correctly. According to the sources, the special team organizes a weekly list of upcoming rap shows classified as posing a low, medium, or high risk for violence or drug-related incidents. Undercover investigators and officers are there planning at certain events to gather intelligence on individuals that are on their radar so basically they're just spying on dudes that's what they're doing they're just spying okay so i want to just uh say something real quick for everybody that don't know this long before you know we've had you know there's always been a certain level of violence in hip-hop for everybody that don't know there was a point in hip-hop where basically you know africa bambata was the security especially if he was in New York City, because there's be situations where a rapper will go, they'll do a show, and then they'll get robbed backstage. There's one specific story that I think I've heard so many times. There was a guy, um, I don't I don't really want to say anybody's name. I was a little kid when I heard the story. So if I'm a little bit wrong, forgive me. But there was a dude named B.O., right? And <laughs> allegedly allegedly he robbed ll for his chain backstage at the apollo and this is a story i heard like in the 80s a dumb long time ago so if i'm wrong and it was somebody else you know i my apologies but i had heard that bo had robbed ll for his chain at the apollo and not just that like they robbed quite a few of these rappers so 
Yeah. Stuff like that went on. So for anybody to say that the, that they might not be a need for security or protection or whatever the case might be at one of these shows, yeah, there's a need. But these guys are not there to try to make sure that nothing goes down shady. Think about this. Think about this for one minute. They just said that they are at the events that are low, high, whatever maintenance to make sure that nothing happens, right? So that means that they was at the event where... Uh, the shooting happened when, oh man, I forget this guy's name, Troy Ave, that shooting that happened regarding Troy Ave. That means that they were there. That means that they were there. No, once, once the shooting and everything happened, why didn't they jump into work? They're there supposedly, supposedly because they're supposed to be trying to, um, you know, whatever with the violence or drug incidents, right? So why, when they had that shooting with Troy Ave, why didn't we hear about a situation where the police was already on the scene trying to save lives? Why didn't we hear about that? So don't let them fool you when they tell you what they really there for. That's not what they there for. Anyway, the, um, the um, article goes on to say, the units present during Remy Ma's show at Irvin Plaza. Actually, that's where the jump off happened with Homeboy. Um, and for anybody that say that, Troy Ave wasn't a big enough reason for them to be there. Actually, T.I. was there that day. T.I., y'all know T.I. So, yeah, that was a big enough reason for them to have been there. All right? Just so we could be clear. And it was Urban Plaza, just so we could be clear. Anyway, back to the article. It says, the units present during Remy Ma's show at Urban Plaza in March 2018 was one of their biggest moves, eyeing the rapper herself and apparent entourage member Jamik. Ja Elliott. Ma, who's currently on parole, sent, spent six years in prison after being convicted of shooting her friend in 2007, while Elliott is a suspected of gun ties and 26 previous arrests. However, Ma's lawyer, Dawn Florio, claims that the rapper has no connection to Elliott whatsoever. Remy does not know Jameek Elliott, never heard of him, doesn't know him. Florio says she does not travel in an entourage. She traveled with her husband and security guards. Now check this out for everybody. That's not really paying attention here. They're just trying to put Remy in the same area with dude because she's no has her, has her situations. So she can't be, she can't deal with, I don't know if dude is a, a felon or not, but she can't deal with felons. She can't, I, I don't even think she's supposed to be around gang members. So <laughs> they're trying to put her in the same area with dude right here and somebody that don't know no better might be like yeah well i know the guy but we just hang out every now and then nah you can't be nowhere near homie so you got to understand how they try to they try to trick you with their words anyway it said it goes on to say other artists on the list include 50 cent takashi 69 both rappers have relations to brooklyn's fame club lust and 50 scheduling of an appointment in 2016 and 69 being a frequent guest of that club that's the club that his baby mama is saying that he basically slept with every woman that's in there just for anybody can six nine was there all the time anyway i'm not saying he slept with anyone those are just allegations but i'm saying that's the club anyway an agent from patrol borough brooklyn south reached out to officers at the local 72nd precinct regarding 50's appearance although it's unclear any actions was made that night remember 50 cent is also the guy that another another police officer put a bounty out on his head. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, that's why I open it up explaining that the hip-hop police exists. And then now I've told you, I read you the article, and I've just explained to you some stuff that we know happened. What are they doing? What are they really there to do? You understand what I'm saying? Maybe the hip-hop police isn't there to do what they're telling us that they're there to do. Maybe they're doing other things. I'm just saying, maybe they're doing other things other than what they're telling us they're there to do. Just, you know, take that into consideration. Anyway, everybody go check out the article. Um, It's in uh, Hype Beast. It's called NYPD Launches Rap Unit to Monitor Crime at Hip Hop Shows. I personally don't think that's what they're there to do. But, you know, everybody make their own decision. Put it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, About the whole... They're supposed to stop crime and monitor crime, but when the shooting at Urban Plaza happens, 
with freaking um Troy Ave, where was they at? The whole thing where they're trying to trip Remy Ma up by saying that she's associated with people that she's not supposed to be associated with, so for her to be able to go to jail. Another point when they're talking about how they want to include how 50 Cent and Takashi is on the list of rappers that they're paying very close attention to, but 50 Cent is also the guy that they some other police officer put a bounty out on his head, and all Takashi is doing is going in there to have sex with these women allegedly allegedly so how is that a threat you know what i'm saying, what I'm saying? like anything revolving around takashi even in his paperwork everything revolving around takashi that might be a reason why the police would get involved with him has nothing to do with club lust zero so what are they really doing that's my point anyway put it down in the comment section love y'all i want to know what y'all think about this like comment subscribe join the notification game hashtag bronx bombers let's get it I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.